After 25 years of using Windows, I bought my first Mac. I'm a developer, a husband and the father of two young girls, having used Windows since version 3.0. I have trained a lot of muscle memory. There is a lot to cover in this video. Let's unpack. Austrian, that means a German keyboard and of course my biggest concern was where can I find all those special keys like curly brackets, back ticks or the tilde? Will I get along with the close button being on the wrong side of the windows? Will I ever be able to type an email address without closing the window by accidentally hitting command Q? When you buy a Mac with an M2 Max chip, you get a really expensive computer and a performance beast. Everything I hoped for in terms of performance, reliability, portability, battery life is real and not just some stats on a piece of paper reachable only in a laboratory environment. The last Windows laptop I used was an Asus Sephiroth Rogue 15 with the Ryzen 9 4900HS, a gaming laptop. The performance wasn't bad, but only when I had it plugged into the large AC power supply. The fan was constantly on. The battery life was about 30 minutes to 1 hour when I worked with a few Docker containers open. Not really useful at all. Talking about Docker, to my surprise, most just works out of the box on the Mac. Most vendors have multi-platform images available. If not, then compiling one for Linux AMD64, either using Quimo or Rosetta leads to a slightly slower performance. There are, however, some quirks, like inverted scrolling. If you use a mouse with the scroll wheel, you get scrolling which works like a touchpad scrolling basically the other way than what I'm used to. I'm using Smooth Pro for that. I also get the middle mouse scroll dragging which I just love for websites. Or task switching. What is Alt Tab on Windows is entirely unusable on a Mac. I'm using another app called Alt Tab for it. It's free. Or keeping the Mac screen turned on when plugged in. Surprisingly, the settings are misleading and the Mac just won't stay on. So I'm using an app called Keeping You Awake. The keyboard settings are a bit harder to get right, at least for me. First of all, the Austrian keyboard layout doesn't seem to know any curly brackets. So first of all, I installed the DE German keyboard layout. That was a good start. I had my curly brackets back, but my muscle memory is just extremely extremely used to control C, control V and so on. Long story short, to use the external keyboard I'm using, I also installed Carabiner elements with some plugins and remappings. Now developing with the Mac makes no difference to my Windows PC and I can also seamlessly switch between them without relearning any keyboard combinations. Screenshots and even screencasts can be made natively on Mac, but I had the feeling the internal app is just subpar, especially compared to the snipping tool that I'm used to from Windows. I'm doing a lot of screenshots and sometimes I want to add text and errors and other markers, so I download a shutter for that. For screencasts, I'm still using Camtasia, but that's an entirely different topic. Some things can be fixed with hidden settings, like the dock height, show, height, show, height, show, speed. I set it to be much faster than anything you can set in the settings. I like it like this, it feels much more snappy. However, there are a few things that I still haven't found a workaround for. For example, it's possible to interact with an app with the right mouse button. This, however, doesn't focus the app. I have mouse gestures in Chrome, which can conveniently open a new tab by dragging a right click down, but then I need to left click into the window to actually select it. Other things are just hard to understand for me. For example, port 5000 is in use by AirPlay, Netstat doesn't really reveal that. And the window management, which Windows is surprisingly really good at, doesn't even get me started on a Mac. It's silly, it doesn't have an opinionated default and instead it's just a mess. But to be honest, it's an extremely sleek device. It has outstanding sound for the size and the fact that I still haven't even touched the original charger speaks for itself. So far, I have only once restarted the Mac because it received a major update. Other than that, the Mac is just humming away and not standing in my way I also only have ever heard once the fan when I started City Skyline, pretty much the only of the few games that you can play on a Mac. First, I thought it's the game's ambient sound but it was too consistent so I finally got to hear those fans too. Would I buy it again, you might be wondering, well, the Mac, not the game. After using it for two months intensively, 
The fact is, I should have bought the Mac M1 when it came out. Yes, it's that good. I'm a Mac hater. This device should be a Windows machine, but it's not. Now I'm converting to the dark side. Let's see how long this computer will last, but I'm hopeful that I finally found my perfect work computer. Gaming isn't really a thing here, but that's what I have my Aya Neo for. Now if you're wondering when the shameless begging for your subscription comes, well I'm not doing that, do us all a favor and do not comment below. Do not subscribe, for every subscriber a poor thumbs up button needs to give his life, so don't do it. Turn off your computer right now and enjoy some time outdoors and I hope I don't see you in the next one.